said. Tap the fuck in, okay? Hello, Aries. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Aries, any placement. I'm an Aries, Moon, Mercury, and Venus. Anything you need to know about me is down below. Thank you for your support. Angel, spirit, guides, and ancestors. What does Aries need to know? Let's see. What's the T? We got the Ten of Cups. This is about emotional fulfillment. Getting what you want. Being being fulfilled in all areas of your life. This, is, this could also be a romantic partnership here. You're someone's happiness. Someone could definitely be... Uh, Same-sex relationship. They're coming out about their sexuality. Okay. Let's see. What's the energy for Aries? Ten of Cups is Pisces energy. Emotional stability and, and fulfillment for Aries. Spirit. We got the Two of Wands. Planning, making preparations, a choice to make. Between two people and two paths for some of you. What's next in your life? What are you going to create for yourself? Looking abroad, looking ahead. What else for Aries? Aries energy with the two of wands, okay? Some of you could be in something. You're wanting something new, desiring someone new. Let's see. Or this is someone connected to you. Some of you could be chosen in the spotlight. Some of you are inspiring. You lead others down the right path. You help them to heal. You guide them. Okay? You could have inspired someone to do something different with their life. Yes. Aquarius energy. Some of you could be humanitarians. This person has an earth in their hand. And the star is just that. Some of you could be on a on a path to fame or on a, on a path to major recognition here. Stardom. All right. Let's see. What else for Aries? I also feel like you help someone to heal more than anything. Or this could be your own healing journey. Some of you are setting off in your own healing journey. Multiple scenarios for Aries. Damn. Peace temperance patience transmutation moderation bringing things into alignment sagittarius energy two major arcanas some of you are going through major life changes this is the season of transformation being in the fall okay someone could be wanting to find a middle ground with you or compromise somehow some way one foot on in water one foot on land someone could be in between two two realms like in between two people two paths they want to heal something with you Someone's watching you from afar. They want to come towards you to heal a connection. Somebody want peace. This is, I don't want no smoke energy. Okay, what else for Aries? All right, let's see. That's in reverse and it fell over the star. Missed opportunity. Procrastination, putting things on hold. Bad investments. Wrong move, wrong choice. Someone lost it all. Someone gave another person an offer. They they didn't commit to you. They never gave you an offer. This is what they want to apologize for. Middle ground, patience, moving things into karma, water's energy with the star being in water and the temperance being in water. This is healing. Water and water. Because I read illustration. So someone really wants to heal something with you. Interesting. Could be emotional. They were emotionally unavailable. So they weren't able to commit or accept your commitment. Somebody declined a proposal. A promise ring or something. Let's see. What else for Aries? Multiple scenarios. Hangman. A delay. They had you waiting. Fell over the temperance. Pisces energy. Okay. Inactivity. Or you surrendered this connection you're no longer fighting for. You surrendered to what's next in your life here. You're going with the flow. Some of you are going within. Some of you feel stuck and stagnant. You should be further ahead. Missed opportunities. Somebody lost a lot of money. Now, they, now they're waiting for something to pan out. Or they want you to be patient with them while they work on their stability. Multiple scenarios. What else for Aries? What's this energy? This is sideways. So it's a challenge to create something with you. Fell over the Ace of Pentacles. The Magician, Virgo, and Gemini Energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Ace of Pentacles. Six of Swords. I said I felt that. That's my cue. Coming towards you to smooth things out and moving into calmer waters. Who would have thought? Aquarius Energy. Leo with the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Cups. It's taking a stand for what I believe in, what I want, how I feel. Desires. So someone could have been a trickster. They could have played on your intelligence. They could have played on your emotions. Or they had no intentions on playing on you at all. Things just kind of move too fast. Okay, two energies of stagnancy and slowness. An energy here, two energies of no manifestations, no intention set forward, 
or they weren't communicating what it is that they wanted out of this connection or they led you astray things were moving but then things stopped things stunted there could also be some magic here shifting too someone's going through an awakening so the magic is dissolving the magician is sideways they're guided to come towards you okay let's see what these situations is for aries spirit what's the tea cut the deck on higher self integration timeline shift all right self-care at the bottom of my deck so some of you could have pulled back because the situation was unfavorable uh you decided to focus on your own endeavors you could have been in a connection where you lost yourself or you were overextending and overgiving. it wasn't equal something was stagnant what's this two of wands for aries Higher self. Damn, I was shuffling and it showed up, but here it is. That's dope. Okay, so higher self integration, awakening, and a timeline shift. This is deciding to choose me, or someone could have awakened to who they want to be with, and now they're making a choice to come towards you. They're planning something. The two of wands is planning as well due to this awakening and shift. They're missing you. Lost love, longing, abandoned, divorce for some of you. Broken dreams, that's this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Heartbreak, grief, healing with the star. You could you could have inspired this person to be a better person. Start to the higher self, you know what, I'm going to make better decisions. Two of Wands, lost love, separation. Separation is big on twin flames. Some of you, this could be a twin you are in separation with. But do due to some things that you said or spoke or did um said or spoke what's wrong with me you could have said it online or spoken directly to them and um that that created a shift for them to want to do things differently take a stand to uh to come towards you two of wands seven of wands six of swords they could have been very guarded and you could have been very nurturing or vice versa men you could have been very affectionate you should let me love you energy and she wasn't feeling it he or she because there are some same-sex relationships okay now yeah i feel like you awaken someone now if this is a like a journey in finances i feel like some of you have decided that you want something different you should be doing something different you want to step into some kind of stardom or just let's let's say humanitarian work non-profit um donations to the homeless or something here you decided that you want to do something for humanity and it's a part of your purpose with higher self activation and this shift so you could have been very stagnant in life okay let's see what's the star for aries in reverse Telepathy, 5D communication, astro travel, spirit guides, signs. Self-care, low energy, depleted, cleansing, wanting time alone, recharge, retreat, and reverse. Now, for some of you, it's definitely a twin flame. For others, this is a disconnect from spirit. In addition to the twin flame situation, y'all have become disconnected from your divine counterpart. Or you no longer want any part of you all's connection you want out you're opting out okay um some of you need to heal because you've lost a, some form of your ability you don't feel connected to your other half to uh, telepathically astro travel spirit guide signs it's like you're ignoring the signs for some of you multiple scenarios or s some things are coming at you and you're not understanding it but it's a part of your healing journey it's a part of your destiny you could definitely be chosen you're not seeing it okay there's a disconnect though from someone they want to heal something with you let me get another some of you definitely just need to cleanse and heal and pull back and just spend some time alone yeah your gifts could be muffled based on some form of a um, healing phase you need to continue or step into let me get another for the star 
distance, retreat, time out, block emotional and physical. Some of y'all are pushing someone out of your aura. You're trying to, if it's a twin, pushing someone out of your aura to focus on your stability. But yet there's some kind of spiritual guidance here. Let me get one more spirit for this star and this distance. Some of you moved away from someone. Family, four wands marriage commitment celebration security nostalgia memories missing someone six of cups past life soulmate the past okay four wands is aries six of cups is scorpio so there could definitely be a situation where i feel it's a twin for some of you past life soulmate four wands for some of you they're married you had to leave this behind or pull back or you're married and push someone away and um but you're missing them and vice versa they're missing you if they push you away whoever whatever side of it you're on they're missing you they could have a kid or two or three or four with this they have a family that's what it says <laughs> with this person and um i feel like they chose that yet they're missing you now for those that are not dealing with romance this could definitely be about your stability you're not sure what you're supposed to be doing in life you had high hopes in the past with nostalgia could have put some things off and um now you're wanting to step back into it but you need time alone you could be very disconnected from self source spirit whatever you call it and um family may have an idea of who you're supposed to be what you're supposed to be doing so that could be the disconnect you're not certain yeah, reflecting, shadow work. Either way, either whichever way I read this, someone's thinking about what they want or who they want to be with. Soul searching, deep introspection. Or you've you've catapulted this person into deep thought. What's this temperance for Aries? Ego, sideways. Someone's trying to work through their through their head pride vanity and fell over family and status quo appearances matter bound to expectations or approval six of wands they could do things for fame fortune recognition or some kind of praise from those around them so then they're realizing that for one you've been very patient with this person with this temperance and their damn ego but they're realizing that um, if they want something solid with you they're really going to have to overcome their ego they're going to have to find middle ground compromise with you they're going to have to trust you. Or oh, this is you. Pride, status quo, appearances matter. This could also be family. Really trying to get someone to be a certain way. Someone regrets releasing you, pushing you away. Not giving to this connection. It says self-care, self-love. Intentions. That's the magician sideways with intention showing up here. Focus on desires of the heart. This is desires within reach. But if it's sideways, the desires were not met. Just period. Self-worth, expansion, manifesting. That's the magician right here. But for for, for the card, it's coming up with a big-ass question mark. Self, <laughs> damn, this is deep. Self-love and creation. What are we creating? I don't know. Magician sideways. Child, please. And they feel guilty. But some of you, this was, uh, this was all about finance and career. You weren't sure. What am I supposed to be doing? I don't know. So let me just go work a regular job. But your spirit team and your higher self is like, listen, we're supposed to do more. Star card. You have an ancestral lineage here with the four of wands that you're supposed to be fulfilling for your ancestors. Okay. Snap, snap. What's this Ace of Pentacles in reverse? What's the what's the missed opportunities or laws here? What is this? Lack of commitment. Okay. Some of you are not committed to self. Multiple scenarios. I'm not a one-track reader. What's this Ace of Pentacles in reverse? For Aries. Trust the universe. Okay, so hmm. Greater forces all at play, release control, all is working out in your for your highest good. If something did not pan out, if someone did not commit, if they did if they weren't stable in a connection, if they, for some of you they were fi if they were financially uh stricken, they're working towards stability to come towards you in due time with trust divine timing. Okay. One more. That would be the Wheel of Fortune, which is Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. What's this? Ace of Pentacles. Union. Oh, my God. Trust in this union? This is giving a reconciliation in due time. It says Lover's Card, which is Gemini energy, but it's also a soulmate or a twin. Decisions, a proposal. That's this Ace of Pentacles. Oh, shit. It says proposal. 
And that Ace of Pentacles is a proposal, but then it says integration of yin and yang. It's a twin for some of you. There's a spirit guide right there too, that bird, bringing you two back together. Now, these leaves are not on this tree, which means this, this probably more than likely is fall or late fall, early winter. There's nothing on these trees. So, divine time, if I had to pull up time reading the illustration. Damn. Fall right at the bottom of the day, child. The past is over, starting over, soul growth, clearing, and new intentions. I'm tapped in. So, something is shifting this fall. By the end of the season, early winter, for some of you, it will be fully over for something new to begin. Or some of you are hitting reset in your own life. Okay, but this is connected to a partnership. Could have been a business deal gone wrong. It didn't work out. Y'all going to figure it out. Somebody really reflecting. For some of you, this is a soulmate coming towards you. They dropped the ball on you or with you or you did. Okay, what's this hangman? A delayed offer wow so this is getting more romantic than financial something was held up or you need to surrender because trust the universe is here trust divine timing there was more romance than there was than there were <laughs> excuse me than it was commitment i don't know if we in retrograde or not i gotta see but uh beauty creative arts wealth harmony attraction and an offer external party they could have chosen another over you or someone got in the mix, could be friend, family, or this ain't work and all of their other obligations. Somebody, something or someone created a wedge in this connection. For some of you on purpose, they ex pop back up or they never divorced or they never separated from the person they was with. And they chose to kind of focus on that. For some of you, y'all was kicking it. Y'all was rocking. Y'all was fucking, sucking, clucking and bucking. And they ex popped up on that bullshit and uh, put this connection on hold. Past suffering wow so somebody's past resurfaced and they very very fucking toxic it could be a capricorn with the devil or they just it says trauma bond so they could have chose someone from their past that's toxic they pop back up to delay slow down interfere get in the way of this connection or offer let me get another for the hangman some of you need to surrender to love yourself in order for love to truly come in what's this hangman some of you need to choose a career of passion that's why you feel stagnant some of you are going on a sabbatical to figure out what you want self-care self-love ace of ace of air gemini libra and aquarius clarity clarity oh lord clarity clarity someone's realizing seeing they now they now know what they want who they want um Heightened intuition, higher self. Someone's going through an awakening. Lower, low energy, depleted, cleansing. A the person they with, I feel like, has drained them some way. Decisive action, epiphany, sudden truth, plans. They also realize that who they're with or not even being with you if they're not with anyone. They feel lost. They feel empty. They feel drained without you. They're realizing it. They're like, damn, like, I found the person I want to be with. Something's missing. So they're going within. For some of you, this is brainstorming your next move financially. You feel empty at work. Excuse me, the window's open. Whatever it is that you're doing in life or in romance, you're not happy. Or this is the person that you're connected to on the ethereal, spiritual level. What's this magician for Aries? Somebody doing magic, child. Mm. <laughs> for real because i'm not ignoring it you see this high heel to this man's forehead and then her stiletto is about to go in his mouth tell me that ain't domination this is disrespect this is this this brings me back to my live where i was like i show i played a video where a woman was teaching women how to do love spells on men to make them be their bitch that's crazy to me Ooh. anyways this is a situation where your person, I feel like the magic is breaking. It came out sideways, y'all. But they definitely doing it. For some of you, someone had trust issues, so they were unable to create something solid with you, so they sabotage it. But for a lot of you, it's, it's, it's magic. There's a woman here controlling a male. If you're a male watching, please wake up. Your awareness is the first step to breaking this bullshit. It says mood swings, trust issues, conflict, five of swords, manipulation. The magician is also manipulation and patterns. Someone could have had a hard time committing based on trust issues, based on their past. It said past suffering, self-worth, stalemate, 
structure so building a stable foundation could have been hard could have been uncertain could have been a lot of uncertainties here for you and this person they they weren't sure what they wanted it says not seen clearly right here but then i have clarity two of swords is libra okay five of swords is aquarius now i feel for a lot of you i'm going to repeat myself I'm get a little i'm getting a little redundant manipulation could have been they led you astray they continue to interact in this connection not sure knowing damn well for some of you that they didn't want something stable or how to create something stable or solid right here solid foundation structure what's next building balance slow and steady okay it wasn't slow and steady it was a whole lot of commitment it, i mean it was a whole lot of lust that felt like a commitment y'all could have been shacking up moving in spending the night just fucking consistently or whatever it was it definitely threw you off but for some of you that was no sex it was just a whole lot of whispering sweet nothings continued communication and then all of a sudden they shifted they switched i feel like somebody's ex popped back up but um for some of you it's spell word someone's trying to control this person and keep them from coming towards you six of swords hang man with that venus offer you're supposed to be with somebody for some of you with the ace of pentacles in reverse and union it's been blocked by spell work for some of you this person got trust issues what's the six of swords at the bottom of the deck you're being guided to stand your ground spiritually and your person wants to stand their ground as well to come towards you to fix it what's the six of swords for every Damn. <laughs> this person is guided to come towards you. It's a strong magnetic pull. Ain't shit nobody could do when your spirit guys get in this damn boat and start pushing y'all together. For some of you, you're guided to work on yourself in order to come into union with this person. It's like attraction. I love me, so someone's going to come towards me that love me as well. But for most of you, spirit team, spirit guys is trying to smooth this out and bring y'all together. Or this person is on their way to make it right on their own. Because change, travel. Wow, this is travel. Six of Swords is travel. They're in a boat on water. Courage. For some of you, there's a Leo involved with it being on this suitcase. It says relocation, moving on, progress, aid and watch, travel, communication. Someone's coming towards you to fix a connection with you. Or you're already in it and they're trying to figure out how to make it right. For some of you, they're, they're dealing with somebody else they're trying to move away from in order to get to you. However it go. If this was a business deal, some of you need to talk to this person, come to middle ground, lay the paper out lay the paperwork out right and make sure that everything is balanced with that temperament showing up because intentions could definitely be stagnant because there's some kind of static on who gets what and what's going to be done and how is it going to be done damn i cut the deck on reunion child i'm done somebody getting ready to reconcile or some of you getting ready to go on a strong uh stable partnership it's a soul tie from a past life connection and they regret how they treated you this is y'all read peace